Arctic News. Climate plan about FAQ threat, extinct feedback action, policies, feedbates, debate, contact, more. Tuesday, January 3, 2023. A huge temperature rise threatens to unfold soon. A huge temperature rise threatens to unfold as the already dire situation threatens to turn catastrophic due to the combined impact of a number of developments and feedbacks. The upcoming El Niño Temperatures are currently suppressed as we're in the depth of a persistent La Nina event. It is rare for a La Nina event to last as long as the current one does, as illustrated by the NASA image below and discussed in this NASA post. The blue line added in the image highlights an increase in Pico and I, strong El Niños, over the years. The above image was created using data up to September 2022. La Nina has since continued, as illustrated by the NOAA image on the right. NOAA adds that the dashed black line indicates that La Nina is expected to transition to ENSO neutral during January-March 2023. Chances are that we'll move into the next El Nino in the course of 2023. Moving from the bottom of a La Nina to the peak of a strong El Nino could make a difference of more than half a degree Celsius as illustrated by the image below. Image adapted from NOAA, from earlier post. Sunspots. Click on image to enlarge, the upcoming El Nino looks set to coincide with a high number of sunspots. The number of sunspots is forecast to reach a peak in July 2025 and recent numbers are higher than expected, as illustrated by the image on the right, from NOAA. An analysis in an earlier post concludes that the rise in sunspots from May 2020 to July 2025 could make a difference of some 0.15 degrees Celsius. Recent numbers of sunspots have been high. This confirms the study mentioned in the earlier post that warns that the peak of this cycle could rival the top few since records began, which would further increase the difference. Joint Impact of El Nino and Sunspots In conclusion, the joint impact of a strong El Nino and high sunspots could make a difference of more than 0.65 degrees Celsius. This rise could trigger further developments and feedbacks that altogether could cause a temperature rise from pre-industrial of as much as 18.44 degrees Celsius by 2026. Further Developments and Feedbacks A combination of further developments and feedbacks could cause a huge temperature rise. An example of this is the decline of the cryosphere, i.e. the global snow and ice cover. Antarctic sea ice extent is currently at a record low for the time of year, see image on the right, adapted from NSIC. Antarctic sea ice extent reached a record low on February 25, 2022, and Antarctic sea ice extent looks set to get even lower this year. The dangerous situation in Antarctica is discussed in more detail in a recent post. The currently very rapid decline in sea ice concentration around Antarctica is also illustrated by the animation of climate reanalyzer images on the right, showing Antarctic sea ice on November 16, November 29, December 15, 2022 and January 4, 2023. Studies in Alaska and Greenland have found that submarine and ambient melting is substantially higher than previously thought. Global sea ice extent is also at a record low for the time of year as illustrated by the image below, which shows that global sea ice extent was 4.6 million square kilometers on January 2, 2023. Click on images to enlarge, as illustrated by the image on the right, adapted from SIG, Arctic sea ice extent was third lowest for the time of year on January 3, 2023. Loss of sea ice results in loss of albedo and loss of the latent heat buffer that, when present, consumes ocean heat as the sea ice melts. These combined losses could result in a large additional temperature rise, while there are further contributors to the temperature rise, such as thawing of terrestrial permafrost and associated changes such as deformation of the jet stream and additional ocean heat moving into the Arctic from the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. The image below is from tropicaltidbits.com and shows a forecast for September 2023 of the 2-meter temperature anomaly in degrees Celsius and based on 1984-2009 to 2009 model climatology. The anomalies are forecast to be very high for the Arctic Ocean, as well as for the Southern Ocean around Antarctica, which spells bad news for sea ice at both hemispheres. There are many further developments and feedbacks that could additionally speed up the temperature rise, such as the currently accelerating rise of greenhouse gas emissions, falling away of the aerosol masking effect, 
more biomass being burned for energy and an increase in forest and waste fires. These developments and feedbacks could jointly cause a temperature rise from pre-industrial of as much as 18.44 degrees Celsius by 2026, as discussed at the extinction page. Keep in mind that humans are likely to go extinct with a rise of 3 degrees Celsius, as illustrated by the image below, from an analysis discussed in an earlier post and underpinned by this post. The situation is dire and threatens to turn catastrophic soon. The right thing to do now is to help avoid or delay the worst from happening, through action as described in the climate plan. Links NASA La Nina times 3 https colon slash slash earthobservatory.nasa.gov slash images slash 150691 slash la dash nina dash times dash 3 NOAA Climate Prediction Center ENSO Recent Evolution, Current Status and Predictions https colon slash slash www.cpc.ncep.noaa.gov slash product slash analysis underscore monitoring slash lanina slash enzo underscore evolution dash status dash fcsts dash web dot pdf sunspots https colon slash slash arctic dash news dot blogspot dot com slash p slash sunspots dot html cataclysmic alignment https colon slash slash arctic dash news dot blogspot dot com slash two zero two two slash zero six slash cataclysmic dash alignment dot html NOAA National Centers for Environmental Information State of the Climate Monthly Global Climate Report for October twenty twenty two retrieved november sixteenth 2022 https colon slash slash www.ncei.noaa.gov slash access slash monitoring slash monthly dash report slash global slash 2022010 slash supplemental slash page dash fornsig national snow and ice data center carctic interactive sea ice graph https colon slash slash nsadc.org slash arctic cic news slash ch arctic dash interactive dash c dash ice dash graph climate reanalyzer https colon slash slash climatreanalyzer.org slash wx slash today's dash weather slash question mark var underscore id equal sign c ice dash snow c ampersand ortho equal sign 7 ampersand wt equal sign 1 meltwater intrusions reveal mechanisms for rapid submarine melt at a tidewater glacier by rebecca jackson et al 2019 https colon slash slash agupubs.online library dot wiley dot com slash doi slash one zero dot one zero two nine slash two zero one nine gl zero eight five three three five greenland's glaciers might be melting one hundred times as fast as previously thought twenty twenty two https colon slash slash news dot slash two zero two two slash one two slash one five slash